Hi everybody! Welcome back to Little Woods Art. And today I was going to share with you one of my favorite books, Charlotte's Web. It's an old book, but a really good book about a girl on a farm. And the thing I like best about Charlotte's Web is the pig. So I thought today we could draw Wilbur the pig and we could fold it and make it like the raccoon card if you watch the raccoon painting drawing. What you're going to need is some paints, watercolor paints, a brush, paper, pencil, if you want to outline with a black marker, and basically the crayons that you're going to need are white, gray, pink, and red and brown for the barn. Let me get those out. All right, so first things first is we're going to draw the pig. I'm going to move this over to the side and I've lately traced it but I'm going to show you how to draw it and I'm going to use my pencil this time. Sometimes I draw right with the marker but today I'm going to draw with the pencil and see if you can see it. So the first thing you're going to do, I like to start with the nose. So first of all fold your paper in half And we're only going to draw on the bottom part. If you don't want to make it a card, you can draw on the whole thing. Open it up. So go in the middle of the half and draw the nose. And if you notice Wilbur's nose, it's not quite an oval shape. It kind of comes up almost like a triangle with rounded edges. Okay. Then we're going to make two circles or two ovals for the snout and a little chin. Good. Next, we're going to add a couple lines. So we're going to come up from the nose. I'm going to add these lines here. And then the eyes. The eyes are cute and round. And if you want to add a little bit of eyelashes on the side, Make them extra cute. And when you color it, make sure you leave a little bit of white reflected light. That'll just make the eye look alive. Okay. Next, we're going to do the head. So the shape of the head is basically a circle. So you can draw kind of a circle around all that. But then really look at the shape. So come back over here and I'm just going to make it a little bit straighter. Kind of give them a little bit of a jawline like that. Okay. And go below the chin. And at the top where the hair is, well, let's add the ears next. So the ears are like two rounded triangles. So go to the side, go up from the eye. You're going to make like a triangle, but then you're going to dip in a little bit, kind of like a Hershey kiss. And then add that little part of the ear. Then go to the other side. Make another like a Hershey kiss. If you don't like it, you can erase and redraw it. But don't worry if it's not perfect. And then to join the ears, add a little bit of hair. Now we got to add the body. So we're going to come over here. We're just going to draw a curved line down and then go under the chin, like a straight line. So this is his chest and then make two lines going out, kind of like a, another triangle. Good. Then come over here and make another line for the leg. And then go back up to about where the ear is. We're going to make the back side curve it down. And then the belly. Now there's one leg back here that we can't see. So there's a back leg, but we want a back leg back here. So just add another line. And even though you can't see the whole leg, you know it's back there. And then the fun part, you get to make a little tail. So you make the tail any way you want. But that's how I made it. It kind of looks like a backward six. Then the background, you can draw whatever you want, but it, 
One easy thing you could do is a barn. So for a barn, you just draw an upside down U, a straight line across at the top, then curve it down, and then the roof, draw a line like that, okay? And if you're doing some perspective, you want this line to go back a little bit. But then this line goes straight across. So angle this one a little bit. Now, you might want to just add some grass in there. And then the barn door. And a lot of barn doors have an X design into it. And then the hay mound, which is a, a room up on top, if you've never been on a farm, it's a room on top and this door comes down and then they load all the hay. They have like a little pulley system and it pulls all the hay up. And then just draw a few lines. You don't have to draw every line of the barn. And then next to it, just make a few fence posts. They don't have to be straight and a couple pieces of fence. And I'm gonna make the fence even come a little bit over here. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of grass in the background. Okay, that's it. And then you can trace it with your black marker, but to save time, I'm not gonna do that right now. The next thing is, I did not color Wilbur white. He is a white pig. Oh, I'm gonna erase this extra line. I didn't color him white, I just left it white. But what I did was I took my pink and I added shadow of pink. So like right here, inside the ear. Okay, and then the nose. And maybe a little bit on the body. Just, just in a few kind of random spots, just add a little hint of pink. It's not really a pink pig, it's a white pig, but you see his skin, so it looks pink. Then take your gray and you want to add a little shadow under his head, wherever the light isn't hitting. And this, this leg that's tucked behind, put some shadow in there, and then a little bit under his belly, and maybe a little in the ear, just a little bit of gray. Okay, and then take your black marker, color in that no nostril so it looks really more like a hole, like a snout. I'm just gonna color in his eyes a little bit darker so you can see him. Nice dark eyes. Then take the white, this is a fun thing, color the fence, and you can't even see the white, but when we add the sky with watercolor, you'll be able to see it. So in the, in the sky, you might wanna draw some clouds. When we paint over it with watercolor, you'll see it. Now I noticed I didn't have a really good red crayon. I'm kind of working with stuff I still have at home. So I'm gonna use this red marker instead. So you can use marker instead of crayons. That's totally fine. Especially if you're like me and you're at home and you can't go shopping. Right now there's you know a lot of changes in the world and we can't get out, but we have to make our own fun. And you just have to use what you have at home. Okay. I'm just going to kind of color over that. So you can't really see all of the lines, but that's all right. And then the roof of the barn. I'm going to color mine brown, but you could color any color you want. Good. Now we're going to take the paint. So I'm going to move this to the side. Move Wilbur's and Charlotte's Web over there great book if you haven't read it. That would be a fun one to read with your family. So you want to get some water. You want to get your paints damp and just add in, add in the grass. Oh, he looks happy. Wilbur is a spring pig. Now, when I was a little girl, my neighbor came to our house and he had a pig and it was a runt. 
And he said, do your daughters, he asked my dad, do your daughters want this pig? And we begged and begged and he said, sure, they can have that pig. And I loved Charlotte's Web at the time, so I really wanted to name that pig Wilbur. But guess what? I could not name that pig Wilbur. And you know why? Because my dad's name was Wilbur. So we could not name. He said, you are not naming that pig Wilbur. So I think we ended up calling the pig Wonder Hog. We had her for a very long time. See how the clouds are popping out? See, so if you wanted to give this to someone, you could write a secret message in there. And then when you paint it, it'll pop out. And if you want to mix a few colors, if you want to make some of the, the green a little bit darker, add a little blue in there. And if you want to add a little purple in the sky, Or you could add a sun and paint a sun in there. And there you have it. There's Wilbur the pig. Hope you had fun.